So, good morning. My name is uh, Ramesh Ichiji, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Government for Study College, Chiptur. Today, I am going to give information about uh, differential equations having uh, first order and uh, higher degree equations. So, differential equation of first order and uh, higher degree equations. In this section, we shall consider the method of uh, solving the ordinary differential equations in which the power of dy by dx is greater than unity. We shall denote dy by dx by p. The equations of first order and higher degree equations can be represented as f of x comma y comma p is equal to 0. Today we are discussing about the differential equations of first order and higher degree equations. So this equation contains dy by dx and dy by dx whole square over to the power of 3 over to the power of 4 etc. So we shall consider the method of solving the ordinary differential equations in which the power of dy by dx is greater than 1 and here we shall denote dy by dx by the letter p. Here the derivative dy by dx is denoted by the letter p. The equations of first order and higher degree equations can be expressed as f of x comma y comma p where p is uh, dy by dx. Following are the types of equations which are of the first order but not first degree are considered. So they are equations soluble for p, soluble for x, soluble for y and Clarets equations. So there are four types in first order and higher degree equations. They are soluble for p, soluble for x, equations soluble for y and Clarets equations. <coughs> First, you consider equation soluble for p. So, let the given equation is f of x comma y comma p is equal to 0. So, this is the given differential equation. Is of degree n. Suppose this differential equation can be expressed as the product of n factors of first degree equation. That is f minus p minus f1 of x comma y into p minus f2 of x comma y p minus f3 of x comma y and so on p minus fn of x comma y is equal to 0. So the given equation is f of x comma y comma p is equal to 0 is of degree n. Suppose this differential equation can be expressed as the product of n factors of first degree sub equation that is p minus f1 of x comma y p minus f2 of x comma y and so on p minus fn of x comma y is equal to 0 then we have p minus f1 of x comma y is equal to 0 p minus f2 of x comma y is equal to 0 p minus f3 of x comma is equal to 0 and so on p minus fn of x comma is equal to 0. Here each equation is of first degree and first order. Each equation is of first degree and first order. Let the solutions of these n equations are let the solutions of these n equations are phi1 of x comma y comma c1 is equal to 0, phi 2 of x comma y comma c2 is equal to 0 and phi 3 of x comma y comma c3 is equal to 0, 
phi n of x comma y comma c n is equal to 0. For each term, we have one solution. For each term, we have one solution. Then, the solution of the given differential equation is given by the product of all the solutions. Then, the solution of the given equation is given by product of all the terms is equal to 0. Therefore, phi 1 of x comma y comma c1 into phi 2 of x comma y comma c2 and so on phi n of x comma y comma c n is equal to 0. Here we put c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c n as c. Therefore, the general solution is phi of x comma y comma c into phi 2 of x comma y comma c and so on phi n of x comma y comma c is equal to 0. We know that the first order equation, first order equation must have only one arbitrary constant. Thus, we have taken c is equal to c1, c2, c3 and cn in the general solution of the equation. So, why we take c is equal to c1, is equal to c2 and so on cn? Because we have first order equation, we must have only one arbitrary constant. That is why we take it as c is equal to c1, c2, c1 is equal to c2 is equal to and so on, cn is equal to c in the general equation of the solution. So, I take one or two examples. <coughs> Solve the equation p square minus 5p minus 6 equal to 0. The given equation is p square minus 5p minus 6 is equal to 0. So, this is p minus uh, 6 into after uh, simplification, after simplification, this is a quadratic equation. So, this is uh, p minus uh, 6p plus p is minus 6 equal to 0 or p minus 6 into p plus 1 is equal to 0. Then equating these two terms equate to 0 p minus 6 is equal to 0 and p plus 1 is equal to 0 or p is p minus 6 equal to 0 in place uh, dy by dx is equal to 0 x6 and dy by dx is equal to minus 1. So dy is equal to 6 into dx here dy is equal to minus 1 into dx or dy is equal to 6 into dx on integrating we have y is equal to 6x plus c1 and y minus 6x plus c1 is equal to 0. In this side dy is equal to minus 1 into dx y is equal to minus x minus c2 or y plus x plus c2 is equal to 0. Therefore the complete solution is given by y minus 6x plus c into y plus x plus c is equal to 0. This is the complete solution of the given differential equation. Complete solution of the given differential equation. So, you know how to solve the differential equation. p square <coughs> minus 5p minus 6 is equal to 0. And first, uh, this is a quadratic equation. Then you solve this quadratic equation p square minus 5p minus 6 is equal to 0 and p square minus 6p plus p minus 6 equal to 0. Then you simplification p minus 6 into p plus 1 is equal to 0 or p minus 6 is equal to 0 or p plus 1 is equal to 0. <coughs> so we know that uh, p is equal to dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to 6 or dy by dx is equal to minus 1 or dy is equal to 6 into dx on integrating y is equal to 6x plus c or y minus 6x plus c is equal to 0 in this set dy is equal to minus dx on integrating y is equal to minus x minus c1 and minus c 
y plus x plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the complete solution is given by y minus 6x plus c into y plus, 6, y plus x plus c is equal to 0. This is the complete solution of the given differential equation. Second problem is solve the equation x into dy by dx whole square plus y minus x into dy by dx minus y is equal to 0. The given differential equation is xp square plus y minus x into p minus y is equal to 0. So you substitute uh, dy by dx as p therefore the given differential equation becomes xp square minus y minus x into p minus y is equal to 0 or this can be written as xp square plus yp minus xp minus y is equal to 0. You may take uh, common factor as p into xp plus y minus 1 into xp plus y is equal to 0 or xp plus y into p minus 1 is equal to 0. So again you take common factor as p minus 1 therefore xp plus y into p minus 1 is equal to 0 or xp plus y is equal to 0 or p minus 1 is equal to 0. Now you consider two equations xp plus y is equal to 0 and p minus 1 is equal to 0. So xp plus y is equal to 0 implies p is dy by dx x into dy by dx plus y is equal to 0. So this is a variable separable differential equation. This is a variable separable differential equation. Therefore, on separating the variables, dy by y plus dx by x is equal to 0. On separating the variables, we got dy by y plus dx by x equal to 0. Next step is integration. So, integral of dy by y plus integral of dx by x is equal to log c. So, integration of dy by y is log y plus integration of dy dx by x is log x is equal to log c by using logarithms x y is equal to c this is the one equation now consider the equation p minus 1 is equal to 0 p is equal to dy by dx minus 1 is equal to 0 so this is dy is equal to or dy minus dx is equal to 0 this is also a simple variable differential equation, variable separable differential equation. So, because dy minus dx is equal to 0. On integrating, integral of dy minus integral of dx is equal to c. So, integration of dy is y minus integration of dx is x is equal to c. So, y minus x equal to c or y minus x minus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the general solution is the product of those two solutions. So, first solution is x y minus c is equal to 0. So, x y minus c into y minus x minus c is equal to 0. So, this is the solution of the uh, given differential equation. So, what is the solution is? x y minus c into y minus x minus c is equal to 0. So, you take uh, problem 3. Solve the equation p cube minus p into x square plus x y plus y square plus x y into x plus y is equal to 0. So here this the equation is given by p q minus p into x square plus x y plus y square plus x y into x plus y is equal to 0. So how to factorize this one? What are the factors of this equation? So by inspection method if you put p is equal to x 
then it satisfies the equation and also if you put p is equal to y will also satisfy the given equation so you see p is equal to if you substitute p is equal to x so p q x cube minus uh, x cube minus x square y plus y square plus x in x square y plus x y square is equal to 0 and that get cancelled and similarly if you put p is equal to y that also satisfies the given equation therefore p minus x and p minus y are the factors of the given equation so this is by inspection method so p, if you put p is equal to x and p is equal to y will satisfy the given equation and hence uh, p minus x and p minus y are the roots of the or sorry uh, they are the factors of the given differential equation therefore the given equation can be written as p minus x into p minus y into p plus x plus y is equal to 0 after finding the third factor you get uh, the above equation can be done as p minus x into p minus y into p plus x plus y is equal to 0. This yields three equations. So, what are the equations? One is p minus x equal to 0, another one is p minus one is p minus y is equal to 0, another one is p plus x plus y is equal to 0. So, you consider first equation. What is first equation? is? Uh, p minus x equal to 0. So, what is p is? p is dy by dx minus x equal to 0. Therefore, this is dy minus x into dx equal to 0. So, this is a variable separable differential equation. Variable separable differential equation. So, on integrating, we got integration of dy minus integration of x dx plus c is equal to 0. So, integration of y is, integration of y is, uh, integration of dy is uh, y and integration of uh, x dx is x square by 2 plus c is equal to 0. So, consider the second equation, y minus, uh, p minus y is equal to 0. So, this is also dy by dx minus y is equal to 0 or dy by y minus x into dx equal to 0. Therefore, this reduces to variable separable differential equation. So, once it reduces to variable separable, the next step is integration. So, what is integration is integral of dy by y minus integral of x dx plus c is equal to 0. So, integration of 1 by y, so what is integration of 1 by y is log y minus uh, x minus x plus c is equal to 0. So, after integration, we get, after integration, we get log y minus x plus c. Again, consider the third equation, p plus x plus y is equal to 0. So, dy by dx plus x plus y is equal to 0. Or dy by dx plus y is equal to minus x. So, which type of equation this is? This is linear differential equation. So, what is the value of p is? p is 1. What is the value of q is? q is minus x. So, you can find the integrating factor. If you got a linear differential equation, then find the integrating factor. So, what is integrating factor is? e to the power of integral of p dx. So, this is equal to e to the power of integral of 1 into dx. That is equal to e to the power of x. So, e to the power of x is the integrating factor. Then, you write the solution. So, how to write the solution? Solution is y into e to the power of x. y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into integrating factor plus c. So, y into e to the power of x is equal to minus 
x into e to the power of x minus e to the power of x plus c or y into e to the power of x equal to minus x plus minus x minus 1 into e power of x plus c or y plus x minus 1 into e to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. It's uh, the complete solution is the product of all the three solutions. So y minus x square by 2 plus c into log y minus x plus c into y plus x minus 1 into e power x minus c is equal to 0. So this is the solution of the uh, given differential equation. Solve the equation. p square plus 2py cot x is equal to y cube y square the given equation is p square plus 2 p y cot x is equal to y square so you can return as p plus so add and subtract here one term is add and subtract what is the term add and subtract is plus y square cot square x add and subtract so if you add the term it becomes p square plus 2py cot x plus y square cot square x. Then those three terms becomes p plus y into cot x whole square minus y square cot x is equal to y square. Or this simplest p plus y into cot x whole square is equal to y square into 1 plus cot square x. So we take to the uh, right side y square plus y square cot square x we take y square as common factor so y square into 1 plus cot square x so p plus y cot x whole square p plus y cot x whole square is equal to y square into cosecant square x so y it is cosecant square x so this is 1 plus cot square x is equal to this cosecant square x by the geometric equation. So taking square root on both sides, p plus y cot x is equal to plus or minus y into cosecant x. So here we have get two equations. So one is p plus y into cot x is equal to plus y cosecant x. Another one is p plus y into cot x is equal to minus y cosecant x. So we have to solve those two equations to get the general solution. So you take first uh, the, both of the equations. p is equal to y into minus cot x plus cosecant x. And p is equal to y into minus cot x minus cosecant x. Consider the first equation. p is equal to y into minus cot x plus cosecant x or dy by dx what is p is so p is dy by dx is equal to y into minus cot x plus cosecant x separating the variables we get so dy is equal to dy divided by y is equal to minus cot x plus cosecant x into dx. So these are the, this is the uh, separating the variables are variable separable equation. So after integration, integral of dy by y is equal to integral of minus cot x plus cosecant x into dx plus log c. So log y is equal to integration of 1 by sin x minus cos x by sin x into dx plus log c or log y is equal to integration of 1 minus cos x by sin x into dx plus log c or log y is equal to integral of 2 sin square x by 2 because 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2 divided by sin x is 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 dx plus log c or log y is equal to after cancellation integration of 
tan x by 2 dx plus log c. So, log o is equal to 2 into log of second x by 2 plus log c. Or y is equal to c into second square x by 2. y is equal to c into second square x by 2. Or y minus c into second square x by 2 is equal to 0. This is the one solution of the given differential equation. Next consider p is equal to y into minus cot x minus cosecant x. So what is the value of p is? The value of p is dy by dx is equal to y into cot x plus cosecant x. Separating the variables we get dy by y is equal to minus cot x minus cosecant x dx. Integration of dy by y is equal to minus integral of cot x plus cosecant x into dx plus log c. So log y is equal to minus integral of cos x by sin x plus 1 by sin x into dx plus log c. Or log y is equal to minus integral of 1 plus cos x divided by sin x into dx. plus log c or log y is equal to minus integral of 2 cos square x by 2 divided by 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 dx plus log c. So log y is equal to minus integration of cot x by 2 into dx plus log c. So after integration log y is equal to minus 2 log of sin x by 2 plus log c or y into sin square x by 2 is equal to c or y into sin square x by 2 minus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the solution of the given differential equation is product of the two solutions. That is, first solution is y minus uh, c into second square x by 2 into y, y into sin, x, sin square x by 2 minus c is equal to 0. So, this is the solution of the given differential equation. So, in this way, you can find the solution of first order and higher degree uh, differential equations uh, in the form of uh, soluble for P. It is, soluble, it is the type soluble for P equation. So, in this uh, method, we have to factorize the differential equation and finding the solution of individual terms, factors and the product of all the solutions give the solution of the given differential equation. Thank you.